Hello everyone, this is Darko2012 reading an article titled Pakistan Taliban Claims It Carried Out CIA Attack. Pakistan. The Pakistani tal Taliban claimed Friday that they used a turncoat CIA operative to carry out a suicide bombing that killed seven American CIA employees in Afghanistan as revenge for a top militant leader's death in, US, in a U.S. missile strike. The announcement was nearly impossible to verify independently because it involves covert operations in a dangerous region. It is highly unusual for the Pakistani Taliban to claim credit for an attack in Afghanistan. And the proclamation followed indications the Afghan Taliban may have been involved in the attack. CIA spokesman George Little could not confirm the account. There is much more there is much about this attack that isn't yet known, but this much is clear. The CIA's resolve to pursue aggressive counterterrorism operations is greater than ever. The suicide bomber struck the CIA's operation at Camp Chapman in eastern coast province on Wednesday. The base was used not to or I'm sorry, the use the base was used to direct and coordinate CIA operations and intelligence gathering in coast, a hotbed of insurgent activity because of its proximity proximity to Pakistani's uh, lawless tribal areas, former CIA officials said. Among the seven killed was the chief of the operation, they said. Six other people were wounded in what was one of the worst attacks in CIA history. Kari Hussein, a top militant commander with the Pakistani Taliban who was believed to be on a suicide bombing mastermind, said militants had been searching for a way to damage the CIA's ability to launch missile strikes on the Pakistani side of the border. Using remote controlled aircraft, the U.S. has launched scores of such missile attacks in the tribal regions over the past year and a half, aiming for high-valued Al-Qaeda and other militant targets. Which is, just, uh, this is totally ridiculous, just reading this. This story is just so much crap. It's hard, it's, it's, it really is hard to read, guys, so just bear with me. The most successful strike in August killed former Pakistani Taliban chief uh, Batula uh, Misad at his father-in-law's home. The latest strike on Friday killed three suspected militants in a car. The Washington Post reported Friday that the CIA, when they say, yeah, when they say militants, they would be equal to like people who were patriots in their own country and as I say, Chinese were uh, setting up bases in, our, in the United States and uh, started drone aircrafting uh, people who didn't want them in their country and then calling them militants. So I just, uh, I'm getting really sick of that word, militants. I'm, I'm sure there's legitimate terrorism, but even terrorism in itself is being carried out by us, so I don't see what the big deal is. The Washington Post reported Friday that the CIA has been at the heart of overseeing this covert program. The, news, the newspaper cited two former intelligence officials who have visited Chapman as saying they, that U.S. personnel there are heavily involved in a selection of Al-Qaeda and uh, Taliban targets for the drone aircraft strikes. Hussein said a CIA a CIA agent contacted Pakistani Taliban commanders and said he'd been trained by the agency to take on militants, but that was, but that he was willing to attack the U.S. operations on the militants' behalf. He did not specify the nationality of the agent. Thank God. I was going to say maybe maybe he's uh maybe he's the, from India, like the guy that escorted the uh, underwear bomber, the sharp dressed man that was uh, helped him get on board without a passport. Huh, I wonder if it's, maybe it's him. Thank God that we have trained him and sent him to the Coast Air Base. The one who was their own man, he succeeded in getting his target, Hussein, told the AP reporter who traveled to him in South uh, Waziristan on Friday. The region is where Pakistan's army is waging a military offensive against the dismantling the uh, Pakistani Taliban. The two former U.S. officials told the AP that the bomber had been invited onto the base and not search. One official, a former senior intelligence employee, said the man was being courted as an informant. Yeah, see this is how they're uh this is how they're releasing the false flag sponsored government terrorist attack, right, against their own people. They uh they just let people in. They just let them in. Right? Oh, he was an informant, you know? I mean I mean do do I really know hundred percent? No. But I just know that false flag government sponsored terrorism is on the rise and it's going to be. That is the f effing motto for 2010. I just said that in my last 
video. 2010, the year of false flag government-sponsored terrorist attack. And if anyone that doesn't know what that is, it's governments carrying out terrorist attacks against themselves in order to create an enemy. A constant enemy. It's an effing mind game, people. So if you don't know what it is, you need to look it up. It's not the first time, and it's not a conspiracy theory. Hitler did it. Lyndon B. Johnson did it. So, I mean, let's uh, move on here. But I just, yeah, it's just how they say this guy just walked in. You know, it's just so ridiculous. I'm so sick of hearing these lame-ass cover-up stories. You think the CIA, they're pretty intelligent, right? They come up with something better, but I don't know. The sheep will believe it, so. All right, let's see here. The Pakistani army's offensive in South Waziristan is believed to have forced many Pakistani Taliban leaders to go on the run to other parts of the tribal belt. The group's recent claims that it has sent most of its fighters to help its brethren in Afghanistan were met with skepticism by analysts who said it was trying to worsen the already tense relationship between U.S. and Pakistan. Ishtik, Ishtak Ahmad, a professor of international uh, relations at Qiyad e Azam University in Islamabad, said the Taliban's latest claim was likely untrue and just another attempt at driving a wedge between the allies because of the military campaign. Yeah, that's like Al-Qaeda who claimed uh, the underwear bomber. They claimed uh, LCIA to claim uh, that responsibility for that. So, which we all know is, is also a bunch of crap. So, since the Pakistani army is succeeding, they are trying to complicate Pakistani-U.S. relations, he said. It only reflects increasing depression. After Wednesday's attack, after Wednesday's attack, Afghan Taliban, which I've never heard of before, Afghan Taliban, but, uh, you know, I'm sure that they really exist and whatnot, but, um, spokesman, uh, Z Zib, I'm having a problem pronouncing these, uh, names, sorry, Zibilua, uh, Mahadid said an Afghan National Army officer wearing a suicide vest had entered the base and blew himself up. There had been no independent confirmation of the bomber's identity. It was unclear if the Afghan Taliban statement was a claim of responsibility or simply an accounting of what the militants alleged happened. The Pakistani Taliban and the Afghan Taliban are separate, though linked insurgent movements. The Afghan Taliban are focused on ridding Afghanistan of Western troops and toppling the U.S.-backed government in Kabul, while the Pakistani Taliban are primarily determined to overthrow the U.S. allied government in Islamabad the world order, the world government, the United Nations. Both militant movements are largely driven by Pashtuns, uh, an ethnic group that straddles both sides of the Afghan-Pakistan border and whose members easily sit back and forth between the countries. In Washington, CIA Director Leon Panetta said Thursday that the seven killed in the coast attack were far from home and close to the enemy, doing the hard work that must be done to protect our country from terrorism. We got to bomb them. We got to get Al-Qaeda. We got to take them out. We got to kill all their children and start bombing and maiming old women. That's what we got to do to keep us safe. A U.S. intelligence official said the attack will be avenged through successful, aggressive counterterrorism operations. Yeah, so see, uh, when, they, when, they, when, they, uh, when they do that, right, when they're getting bombed and they get pissed off that their fucking children and their, and their elders are getting uh, blown up. They get a little angry. They're not sl total slaves, right? They get pissed off, and they want to fight back. Uh, but thank you for listening, everybody, and uh, please leave your comments.